Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to talk about some artists that are having issues with their music labels that they're signed to. It seems as though all year we've just had a lot of artists complaining about their labels and I'm starting to notice a pattern about something that I kind of want to point out. I could be wrong, but it's just something I've noticed. But first, um... In the beginning of the year, it was Meg The Stallion. She had issues with her label, 1501, and she ended up leaving the label. And then Cardi B had issues with her label. It wasn't too big of a news because she kind of kept it low key, but she was having issues with her label as well. And she voiced her opinion on that here and there. Um, but recently, it's like, First, it was Tiana Taylor who talked about her label and complained about them on social media. And now it's Sweetie complaining about her label. But first, I want to talk about um, Tiana Taylor. So Tiana Taylor clarified her remarks about quitting music when she said that she was not referring to any awards i know a lot of us assumed that it had something to do with award the fact that she was not being recognized and given certain big awards that she believed she deserved but she said it had nothing to do with awards because she doesn't care too much about awards and as a matter of fact um this is what she said everything that you guys see of me everything that i put like 100 percent me you know and my thing about it is there's no gun to anybody's head to do anything that they don't want to do. So, yes, I am going to feel underappreciated if I'm putting in 110% and my label is giving me, they're reciprocating, what, 10% of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I constantly feel alone. I constantly feel unappreciated. I constantly feel failed. You know what I'm saying? Like, because there's literally no push. I be looking at like, why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing that? Why am I like, why am I not? Da -da 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 -da. And the crazy part about it is I asked Def Jam to drop me on almost 10 different occasions to do it for my emotional health. I have to do it for my kids so I can stay alive for my kids. You get what I'm saying? Like, and until I'm free, until I can get them to release me, yes, I want to retire. I don't want to do this anymore because it, that it come with, it's not given that. I love to help others. I love to direct. I love to design. I love to choreograph. Like, y'all know me. I'm a jack of all trades. Like, you know, my hustle, it just don't stop. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, if everything that come with music doesn't make me happy, why should I, like, why should I die for that? You get what I'm saying? Like, why do it have to be, you know, like, it's just, it's just weird. So when I say overlooked and all that type of shit, that's why I said in the post, I don't have the most supportive label. You feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all know I don't. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and it just, it's too much. And I feel like Def Jam never takes accountability. They don't, they don't, they don't take accountability. They don't take accountability at all. And I just, I can't, I can't. So hopefully uh, with my retirement, they'll let me go. And it's sad that it gotta, it gotta come this far. Cause it's just like, I asked y'all to drop me nicely, respectfully on numerous occasions. And then it's an excuse every single time. So yeah, um, she said it's her label. Her label is not giving her the kind of support that she wants. By support, I'm assuming she's referring to financial support and, you know, a bigger push and, and support as far as, um, yeah, financial support is really the only thing that comes to mind for me because I can't say that she does not do the kind of music she wants to do. Because it seems to me that she does. She she did say so. She said she has a lot of um, creative freedom. She does the kind of music she wants to do. 
and she um, puts out the kinds of performances and videos that she wants to and you can kind of see you can clearly see Tayana all over her videos and her performances so I'm sure those are her ideas so I'm assuming that she was referring to financial support perhaps she needs more financial backing to go on um, to undergo a bigger project and they're not giving her the okay or maybe they don't trust that she'll be able to recuperate it I don't know for sure but it sounds like financial support is what she was referring to because she has creative freedom and um that makes sense um i guess uh, a lot of people assumed it, it had to do with awards but she just like um the baby and i believe little baby they all say they don't care about awards it's not a big deal to them and a lot of artists say that but eventually they will begin to care but for now that is not the issue with tiana taylor now i want to talk about sweetie sweetie's having similar problem but not exactly she made a statement on social media when she said i am extremely disappointed in my label wbr for prematurely releasing a single i was so excited about i feel disrespected i'm hands-on with all of my creative and had such a dope rollout for best friends the thirst for clout and money is real and it overrides the artist's art and then she also said we put so much work into the visual and we shot for days for this super cinematic girl anthem and for this to happen wow so hers is kind of different her issue is that they are making certain decisions without consulting her and she feels that things should go in a, a certain way or by follow a particular schedule but they're not um, respecting that and they went ahead and released the single um, ahead of their agreed time or date without notifying her and I don't know how these things work but I do know that the label makes the label is like the corporate arm of the artist's brand and they make some organizational decisions and scheduling decisions and um, sponsor decisions and just certain decisions that artists cannot really make by themselves and sometimes i feel like while the artists think they have everything all planned out and they know exactly what's right they may not always be correct about it and it goes the same way for the label as well just because they know more about the business aspect of entertainment does not mean that the artist cannot have a valuable input that actually works but um overall i think that these artists need to work better with their labels and they all need to i don't know maybe have more frequent meetings and just be able to voice their opinion face to face with their labels because this new thing where they all come to social media and complain about the label i don't know if that actually makes things better or it makes it worse and i'm starting to think that the artists that do this the ones that come to social media and complain about the label that they're currently signed to are artists that are trying to leave their label i just don't see an artist that plans on stick sticking with their label using this particular approach and in the past whenever an artist goes public and begins to complain publicly on social media about their label shortly after they leave and they only seem to complain after they found a better label that is interested in them I'm not saying that's the case here, but I'm starting to wonder if that's what's happening. I feel like perhaps Sweetie wants to leave her label and Tiana wants to leave her label as well. And perhaps that is why they feel comfortable criticizing their labels publicly. But um, I don't know how this is going to work out for them. I hope they have uh, some kind of a plan in place because as we've all seen many times if you bring your um, disagreement with someone or a company to social media things tend to go downhill from there so but i don't know if they want to continue to use this approach if they don't already have something better lined up for themselves but yeah that's all i wanted to say on this artist i feel like all the artists that do this are trying to be on their way out and 
you know, that might be why they're taking this approach, but I wish them all the best. That's all I have on this. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next one. Bye guys.